Okay guys, let's jump right into it. At first I have the Silk Priming Serum. So it's the, y'all yeah, can even see it because of these lights. It's the primer. So this primer claims to be luminous, natural finish, even tone and plumping effect. It also is a translucent um, formula and it just smells like a really good moisturizer. Next, I have the foundation, natural finish fluid foundation, and I have it in the shade 410W. And you all know how this looks by now. This is old. I just saw it at Sephora and decided to get it. So it looks like this glass bottle. Da 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 da. One fluid ounce. So I'll tell you about the foundation while I'm putting it on. So far, all we know is a natural finish, and I hope this is my shade. I'm just, all the reviews I saw said that it smell, but it just smells like a really good moisturizer. So this is how the color looks. And we are going to apply this and hope this works, but I'll talk, we'll talk through while I'm putting it on, because I know I can't do two things at one time. Okay, so just applying it, it says it's a natural finish, suitable for all skin types, lightweight and long wearing. It also is a buildable, so it can build all the way to a full coverage. While applying it, I thought the shade matched me really, really well. Um, it wasn't matte at first, but after it set, um, it, it was matte. I mean, it still looked natural, but to me, it was matte. And... It blend it blended really really easily I think the coverage though because I only used two pumps and then I still saw some like dark marks underneath my eye so I decided to go back with like a half a pump you see me pointing right there to the part underneath my eye just to give me a little bit more coverage um, the smell isn't awful. It's not an awful smell, like an overwhelming smell. You smell it at first, and then once you apply it, it's gone. Okay, so this is how we're looking so far. I'm going to do my concealer and whatnot, and I'll be right back. Okay, last step. I did pick up, y'all can hardly say, but I picked up the powder, beauty powder matte natural in shade 10 <laughs> so let's see how this goes comes in a little bag and i love the packaging i just love this i wish you all could see it. i love this packaging oh this looks too light for me mm -mm. but let's see because of the mirror i thought it would have came with a powder puff but the way it does powder puff Let's see. I don't know, y'all. Maybe. I felt like 11 looked too dark on the swatches, so I said, well, let me get. Yeah. Oh, team works. Okay. We are going to spray it with our Ulta spray. Back. Okay, guys, I have finished everything. This is how the foundation is looking. As you can see, I am truly, truly matte. We're going to see if I can stay matte throughout the day. That's the goal. So, I don't even have my phone. What time is it? It's 7.33, and I'll be back and let you know what I think about this foundation. Is it worth $68? <laughs> so, see you in a bit. Bye.
Okay guys, so I am back. It's now 542 and this is what my face is looking like. I have some shine, didn't blot all day. I got some shine right here. My teeth don't basically everywhere I get all the it just says it's a natural uh, finish foundation. Doesn't claim to be matte, but I feel like I was matte. So I don't know if it was this or the powder. The powder it does say matte. It kept me matte a lot throughout the day. So I'm gonna take my powder brush like I normally do, you know, to get some of this all and see. I'm tired, y'all. I am worn out. So yeah, it went right back matte. As you can see, yeah, I'm right back, man. I think this would be a perfect for my Ollie girls. This would be a perfect summer foundation because it's gonna keep you mad. Yeah, the primer, not so much. I don't really know if it's something that I need, I don't really know if it did anything special, but I'll keep trying it. But so far, I mean, it's good, it wears on the skin it's good. $68, I mean, that's how much the. What do you call that thing? The Pat McGrath was. So I don't consider this to be extremely expensive. So if you enjoyed this quick review, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you in my next video.